Hey everyone, in this video I will be talking about slidesai.io. So this video is basically going to be a um, beginner friendly tutorial on how to use slidesai. Uh, it's going to be basically for uh, just showing you around how to use it, what you can create using slidesai, uh, and just you know the basics for this uh, very nice platform. So in short, slidesai.io is basically going to be uh, integrated with your Google Slides and it's going to help you create presentations uh, easily, super easily, because it does use AI uh, to help you with um, all the other tasks in terms of the theme, the layout of the um, presentation and everything that is not related to the text and also does have a relation with the text, by the way, uh, it does that work for you. All you have to do is just insert some text uh, and then it's going to do the rest of the hard work, you could say, for you. So you can see here, create presentation slides with AI in seconds. Uh, they do highlight what I just said by saying, say goodbye to tedious manual slides creation. Let's the AI create professional engaging slides uh, from any text in no time. So that kind of sums up what Slides AI does for you. So you just type in some text and the rest is going to be done for you. And obviously we'll get to edit uh, things if you don't if you don't like it. Now it does uh, have a free plan, which is the basic. Uh, and you do get three presentations a month. Uh, however, the characters that you can put in, uh, meaning the text in order to create a presentation is going to be uh, 2,500 characters uh, because of its uh, the, the free plan. Uh, for the pro and premium, you will need to compare them and see if it's going to be worth uh, your money or not. That's going to be up to you. And I will leave the comparison for you to uh, look at later on because I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to jump into how to actually use it. So in order to use Slides AI, first you need to go to the website slidesai.io. Uh, from here, you will need to just click on the top right, install Slides AI. And then from here, it will take you to the Google Workspace Marketplace and then you just install it. Uh, you will need to uh, select your account and then allow for the permissions here. After that, it should be done. You can just exit out of this. Uh, no worries, I'm going to teach you everything how to actually start using it. Now, if you just open up a new tab and go to your Google Slides, if you just pretty much open up your Google Slides here, uh, you will find obviously your presentations. Nothing is different here, but you can just create a blank presentation in order to start using it and then uh, from here, you will actually need to click on extensions. And then from extensions, you will find slidesai.io, create slides with AI. So the first thing that you will need to do is obviously generate slides. So you click on the first option, which is generate slides. Uh, so just give it a, a few seconds and it's going to give us uh, a few options in order to actually create those uh, slides. Okay, so here, generate slides with uh, slidesai.io and just give it a minute in order to uh, uh, fix things up, I guess. Okay, so here, because it's the first time that I'm going to be using it, it's going to uh, ask us about ourselves. Let's just say student and rarely, how did you hear about us, uh, friend, colleague? next okay so no invite code you can just skip now here here is going to be where we actually do our work so we've got a few options when it comes to text into presentation it's either our own text here you can just input um, uh, pretty much what you want like if you have a script of some sort for the summary of the presentation you can put it over here and then it's just going to use AI in order to just fix things up 
to be compatible with uh, these slides that's simply put so if you have a kind of paragraph or essay that you want to turn into a presentation you just go to this option your own text and you just paste it here remember for the free plan, you get uh, the the character limit is going to be uh, 2,500. So you need to keep that in mind. So this is the first option. Uh, for this option, your own text, you will get uh, a few additional options that you can uh, set. For example, presentation type. It could be general, it could be uh, conference, educational, or sales. So you can just put educational. It's, it's just going to change the style of the present, uh, presentation. And then for the number of slides, currently you have either auto or uh, which is going to be depending on your text. Uh, and then uh, from one to 10 slides, uh, and there's obviously more coming soon. So more options. And then you get more options over here, like add title and thank you slide. That is... Uh, if you want that and add images which by the way you can change it later on and i will show you in a bit or summarize uh, text to make it just uh, easier for reading so this is the first uh, option that slides ai does offer uh, you can just try an example here to see how it works if you want or you can just paste your, you paste your text so the second option is going to be uh, from a topic so here you will just type in the topic that you want the presentation to be about even if you don't have a script so for example types or details about our planets uh, so this is the topic for now let's just put it this way and then here for additional information you just type in uh, whatever you want to be included within the presentation so this is obviously going to be depending on what you want to create specifically uh, for now i don't really have specifics so i'm not going to add anything here if you don't add anything here uh, do uh, realize it may be uh, basic general information so you may actually need to tweak some things within add additional information um, for example for, like this example they give us uh, must have a slide on blah 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 so you just need to add as much info as possible to make it as much uh as the presentation that you actually wanted to make so uh then we just can select the number of slides here let's make it six uh, and then we get to the option to add images uh, and lastly we just click on replace existing slides this way it's not going to keep any leftovers from previous ones uh, so after that's done we go to themes here they do give us a few themes here when it comes to the basic plan obviously as you upgrade there's more uh, and we can just select whatever theme uh, or we can just create our own theme with custom layouts here or we can use our own custom theme if that's what we have you just follow these steps and it, it will show you how and you can also adjust how the bullet point styles look like but that's just the basics so once that's done you just go ahead and um, create slides i think that's it that's all i need to do over here we can just create slides uh, it's not going to take too long but i don't want to make this video uh way too long so i'll just pause right now and come back when it's done okay so here we go this is done now and we can it took about like i don't know 40 seconds maybe a minute so we can just close out and we will see some empty uh blank uh slides so we can just delete those and we can see the uh the presentation so, like I said, because you don't add much info within the additional information, you it will be just as basic as it could be. So, this is why I say or stress that you need to add as much info as possible. And for some reason, we've got Venus and it does have coffee here. Uh, so, we may need to uh, change pictures. So, it's very simple with Slides AI to change pictures. So, what we need to do is go to Extensions. 
and we go to slidesai.io and this time instead of generate slides we go to magic write uh, think of Ma magic write as the editing tool which is going to help you edit the images as well as the text if you want to rephrase text you can also use magic write in order to do so which i will show you in a sec but first let's actually change this coffee image because it does not suit venus at all maybe there's a connection with the venus that has with coffee that i don't know about but anyways once magic write opens up you can just click on recommended or recommend images and then from here we can just uh we need to select the image that we want to change now this option already is going to give us uh related uh, pictures for venus apparently or just the overall text that we have here but here for some reason it's not connected at all so we can just go to the search here and just type in venus planet and we just search and the actual images should pop up where we can actually pick it so this is saturn and venus i, I think uh, let's just pick this, this one for the sake of the tutorial but you can obviously keep searching and you find the picture that you want and you can just use it so this is how to change images easily again you just select the image and then from here after you find it you just click on use this what about the text if you go to magic right again we find this option paraphrase sentences we also got icons citations which is very very cool where you can just um copy the text and it will just, like cite where you got that text from uh anyway so let's just talk about the paraphrasing for now and just end the video here because i think i just summed up everything that you need to know so let's say we don't like this an overview an overview of the planets in our solar system we don't really like it so much so we just select the text by just highlighting it uh, and then we just click on fetch highlighted text and it's going to be uh, over here and then we just choose tone either friendly or professional and language uh, and then we just click on paraphrase text or sentence and we just give it a sec and it's going to give us a different style of text which we can choose multiple of uh, let's say here's a quick look at the planets i think this is kind of nice so we just click on use this or or copy if that's what you want but let's just click on use this and you will see it change uh, right away so you can see you've got plenty to work with and pretty much the the presentation is done we just need to do a few uh, edits with the pictures random pictures I should say really but it shouldn't be too hard because like the presentation is pretty much done remember it's kind of simplistic because we didn't add information like I said the more information you add the better the results will be so i hope this video helped you and that's all i have for you today uh, i hope you like it and thanks for watching